Hi folks, this is Solid Fruit and today I want to try a really dangerous fruit, the fruit of a really dangerous plant, of the giant taro. Giant taro is native to Borneo, right now I'm here in Borneo, however here it's not in a wild setting, but at the edge of a park in Kota Kinabalu, the capital of the state of Sabah. Taro is a very valuable vegetable in the tropics and subtropics. Originally, mostly the leaves and leaf stalks were used as a vegetable, and later the thick rhizom became the most important part because it's so thick and more nutritious. However, taro is one of those really dangerous vegetables. It's full of oxalates. Eating it can fill your intestines with little glass needles, and even handling it can hurt you. Once I foraged a lot of small taro with reddish leaves from a river, from a creek valley on the Canary Islands, and then when collecting it, and later when washing and cutting it, my hands got completely messed up by those small glockets. Then I cooked it for quite long, trying to remove the oxalates. Apparently cooking seems to help a little bit, but then the food was still so itchy and painful that we threw it away and left the remaining taro tubers for our host. Maybe they knew how to do it. Well, here we have the giant taro. Instead of small chestnut-like rhizome tubers, this one has giant, look at this, two to three meter long tubers. Actually, the giant taro is also being cultivated in the Canary Islands. I think they sell those already cooked, and then you can take a slice like how, uh, how, as much as you want. Uh, here in Borneo, I had taro once in a uh, in a uh, Iban village in Kalimantan and I had the, uh, some pieces of the rhizome and some pieces of the leaf stalk and it was delicious, no trace of oxalate. I guess those Iban, they know how to cook it. I've never seen anything about eating the fruits. I guess the fruits are, even if they are edible, size-wise this thing is edible in many species. This big thing is edible and full of starch in many species. Those little fruits, even if they were edible, they wouldn't receive much attention. Let's see if we can find something edible here. I don't think I will try the rind. I will try the arils around the seeds. Each seed is surrounded by this red aril. Red it's the strongest color when you want to attract birds. That's why so many little berries are red. They are supposed to be eaten by birds. And then the bird is not supposed to chew the seeds. It's supposed to swallow everything and excrete the seeds. Mm. A bit sweet. The bird would like it. Mm. 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 <laughs> yeah, the oxalate needles, the pain hits you a little bit later, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh, it's like eating a cactus. Ugh. Okay, folks, never go, never go close to the giant taro fruit. You're gonna get hurt. So, folks, this was the giant taro fruit. Stay away from it. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit rich island of Borneo. If you want to receive more such content, it's not enough. Ooh, my tongue is, yeah, it's like eating a cactus. Not enough to subscribe to my channel because YouTube stopped recommending my videos. You need to press the little bell icon to be notified about new uploads.